what up YouTube Supercharged iOS here and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to hook up your XBMC using your Windows PC alright now I'm, the reason for making this video is because i gotten a lot of messages recently of people wanting me to show you how to do this on a Windows PC which is pretty much the most common type of computer that exists so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll launch XBMC once you get this installed on your Windows PC it's very simple I'll put a link in the description so that you'll be able to install XBMC and also I'll put another link in the description so that you'll be able to download the XBMC hub repo now this isn't the wizard edition because I know a lot of people have trouble with the compatibility issues of getting the uh, hub wizard edition installed onto your Windows PC so the easiest way to do this is just to add the XBMC hub repo to your XBMC so like I said I'll put a link in the description and this will just be for Windows and I'll just go ahead and, and you just click right here whenever this will this page will pop up as soon as you click on the link you just click right here and when this opens up you just click save and that's it once you see this you go once you see this right here you just click on this little search magnifying glass thing and once it pops up you'll see right here XBMC hub repo 1.0.0 just click and drag that to your desktop right there drop it simple as that after that you can just close that out close that out and minimize that or you can close it out if you are done with the internet and and then you uh, you know you just have this right here so now you launch XPMC and I'll show you how to gather those repos okay so you go over to system and settings now I'm just gonna use the arrows to do this because it's a lot easier to use arrows with your XPMC so you just go down to add-ons go down to install from zip file okay once you get to that point you click on C and then you go down to user and whichever user you're in your uh, you know you're logged in on on your computer this is me and my girlfriend this is her computer so I'm going to my name and I'm gonna go down to desktop which is where it's located and then I go to repository hub dot xbmc hub dash 1.0.0 zip which is that right there and we're going to install that and once you get this installed you can pretty much install any add-on in the world from this ad particular add-on that we're going to install from the XBMC hub repo which is called the XBMC hub maintenance tool so what we're going to do now is once you do that you just go right here to get add-ons and then you want to scroll down and you want to well you won't have much in your uh, repos list but you you're going to need to you won't have many others but if you just started fresh but you're going to need to find this one xbmchub.com add-ons select that and then go to video add-ons select that and then you want to scroll down to the bottom of the list and you see right there XBMC hub maintenance tool that's exactly what you want you want to click that and then it's, it'll say install for you it's already installed for me you just install it get that installed and you're good to go and you'll be done you can just hit backspace to go backwards all the way back to the beginning and after you install after you install the XBMC hub maintenance tool you just come over here to the video add-on section you go to videos add-ons you go down to the bottom of your list however many add-ons you have on installed XBMC hub maintenance tool you click on that and launch it and it'll give you a, 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 a little song or something like you know a little theme song for XBMC and some messages whenever you first become a member you just click, keep, keep on clicking on OK when it asks you to you know do you want to install and add an email address you can do all that later on so that you can enable debugging and whatnot so just for right now the best thing for you to do is just click on OK and get yourself to this point where we can go 
on ahead and install those repos that have everything you want so once you get to this point you just go to maintenance click on it and then you go to right here click on download all repos and that'll download every single repo out there and give you all the best plugins now that takes a few seconds and if it asks you to reboot which I think it does at the end of that process you just come down over here click on your power button and then go to exit and then relaunch your XBMC once it exits so you just do like that exit then go back to your XBMC and relaunch it rebooting is XBMC is that simple on Windows PC alright so we'll go on over now that we've done that you want to go to get those new add-ons like you see right here you want some of these okay so to get those you go to system settings because now we added all the repos we need you go to add-ons you go to get add-ons and all your repos will be listed here they should all be enabled uh, mash 2k is mash up and Arkintosh is ice films Bur Bur uh, Bestrom, Bestrom occur is uh, is one channel as you can see and there's several others so just go through the list and get whatever you want you know check in each repo and see what there is when you I'll show you just how that works whenever you say if you want one channel when you click on them there you go you just click on video add-ons boom there it is you just click on that one and it installs you just go to the next one and so on if you want there's nothing in that one there's other ones and believe me there's something in most of them there you go ice films simple as that all you have to do is go through the list there's mashup video add-ons mashup right there all you have to do is just install them one by one and like I said you don't have to reboot after installing them it's simple as that you just get them installed and launch them and get them through the first launch and get them running and everything will work perfect for you from then on out alright this is supercharged iOS I just wanted to show you guys how to get your XBMC running on your Windows PC I hope you liked this video I hope it was helpful please thumbs up and subscribe I'll see you guys in the next video peace